Hello and welcome to this Open TX Quick Tip. Now this quick tip is all about how you can change rates dynamically by the flick of a switch. It's a very simplistic thing to do and OpenTX is incredibly powerful. If you want to know more about how OpenTX works, then link below, but also the card here that you can click on, that is how you go and set up OpenTX. The series on my channel starts very simply and then goes from those simple basics, which if you're coming from Spectrum or Fataba, kind of explains the differences between OpenTX and those kind of radios right the way through to some pretty sophisticated stuff. But this one is to specifically address a question that I've had from a gentleman called Gnome. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. And what Gnome's after, he wants to adjust the endpoints dynamically on a switch on his radio. And that might be when he's flying a plane, he's rolling too quick, he wants to dial that back. Now, a couple of things I'd probably recommend there. First, if add a little bit of exponential to the input, but we can also very quickly and easily set up on a switch dual rates or even triple rates and the rate is how much the control surface is moving so rather than move really aggressively maybe it only moves a little bit and makes it easier to fly so let me show you that very quickly to answer this question so there's our new model and if we open it up we have the inputs the pretty standard stuff and we have the mixes now in the inputs i would always recommend adding um, a little bit of exponential so let's add I don't know 20% exponential that's always going to give you a little bit of finer control I put whatever exponential you want on each of these that's going to help you with control it desensitizes uh, the stick around the middle position but we're after how to do dual rates now at the moment everything's got 100% this is how it all defaults in the radio if I simulate that you look on the radio outputs, uh, the aileron is channel 4, so let me move it around. So it goes from minus 100 to plus 100, that's full deflection. That might be too much for the servo, it might be too physically too much for the uh, aileron it's connected to, it might be stressing everything out. So you might want to dial that back. So we can do that very quickly, we can double click on that and we can change the weight to maybe 70% is what it needs to be. And you just check this on the model as you're building it. Again, I'll put a link down below that talks about basic plane setup for OpenTX and goes through it in a very simplistic way if you're not sure what I'm banging on about. So if we simulate that now, let's go the aileron. So the aileron now goes from minus 70 to plus 70. So that might be the travel that we need when you want to do acrobatics and that's the maximum physical that you want the control to move. It's very, very easy then to set up on a switch to have um, lower movement. So first of all, let's say that we only want this to happen when uh, a particular switch is in a particular position. So, so let's say when SA is in the back position we want the high rates there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that and again you can do all this on the radio i'm just using companion because it's easier to see again links below uh, that talks about how to use companion like this it's fantastic to set radios up and if we just double click this one this time if we set up the switch to be exclamation sa in the back position what that means is when it's not in that position, let's change the, there we go, the move to 40%. So it's going to move a lot less. Now what that actually means is when SA is in the back position, then the aileron goes from minus 70 to plus 70, exactly like we saw before. But now if SA is in the middle position, it goes to 40 and minus 40 and plus 40 like that you see now if i've got full deflection on the roll or aileron and i move the switch we can see we get that extra little bit of travel now the reason that i'm using the exclamation mark is because if i didn't then potentially i would have one of these settings that didn't work so what i could do is if we wanted to be really clever we could change this maybe we want to try it on 60 uh, let's change the switch as well to be SA in the middle position. We'll duplicate that. And now we'll change this to be, I don't know, 
30%, really, really gentle. SA in the bottom position, simulate it now. With SA at the top, let's just push the alarm across. It goes from 70 to 70. In the middle position, it goes from 60 to 60. And in the um, that position, we have really gentle controls, 30 to 30. So that would be for very gentle cruising, assumed everything was trimmed. So that's the way you do it, very simple. Now there's loads of other ways that you can do it. You can do this with special functions. You can do it with flight modes. You can do it lots of different ways, but hopefully uh, Gnome that actually gives you an idea of how you tackle this. You can very easily set it up for two rates. So you have like a high rate and a regular rate and use the exclamation mark for one of them. So the switch is either um, picking one or the other just for safety. With a triple switch like this, we could actually have three and we could set those up so that that then gave us a little bit more uh, control. We might have an, a setting for acrobatics. We might have a setting for regular flying and we might have a very, very low setting if we're going to hand it off to our friend to try and fly so they don't immediately crash it. So again, if you're interested in OMTX, go and check out the Mixing School. There are lots and lots of videos like this that teach you all about the basics and all about the advanced stuff later on too. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the Inner Circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.